Hey guys, welcome back to my channel this week for another video. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you do enjoy this type of content, I hope you will subscribe and hit that notification bell as I do post videos every single week. Today we're going to be covering the unsolved case of Kathy Page. So if you're interested, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Lucille Catherine Fulton Page, also known as Kathy, was a 34-year-old wife and mother from Vider, Texas. She was a waitress in Beaumont, Texas, which was a 10-minute drive from Vider. Kathy was originally from Mississippi, and she had been married to her husband, Steve, for 13 years. They had two daughters together named Erin and Monica. However, there was some trouble in paradise. Steve claimed that Kathy no longer wanted to be married to him and that they were planning to divorce. In the early morning on May 14th, 1991, Kathy was found dead in her car in what initially appeared to be an accident. However, it was quickly discovered to be a homicide and Steve soon became the prime suspect. Kathy's sister Sherry said that Steve had moved out shortly before her death. He claimed that they remained friendly. Kathy asked Steve to watch their daughters the night before she was found deceased while she went out with her friend Charlotte. She left around 11.15 p.m. and by 4 a.m. she was dead. An autopsy determined that she had been strangled to death. The autopsy also found that Kathy had engaged in consensual sex shortly before she was murdered. Turns out Kathy had not intended on seeing her friend Charlotte that night. In fact, she met with a secret boyfriend at a hotel in Beaumont. The boyfriend did admit to sleeping with Kathy. However, the autopsy showed that she had been with someone who had a visectomy and the boyfriend did not. But you know who did have a visectomy? You guessed it her ex-husband Steve. Steve admitted to allegedly sleeping with Kathy before she went out that night. However, police did not believe his story at all, and neither does Kathy's sister Sherry. Sherry does not believe that Kathy would have willingly slept with Steve that night, especially if she planned on meeting up with her boyfriend. During the investigation, police found that Steve had called two numbers that night. The first number was to Charlotte, the friend that Kathy said that she was going to see that night and the second call was placed to the hotel in Beaumont where Kathy had met up with her boyfriend. Sherry believes that Steve had become angry when he found out that Kathy lied to him about being with Charlotte. She also believes that Steve had forced Kathy to sleep with him that night and then strangled her to death. Steve denies having any involvement with her death and even claims that he received threatening phone calls saying that the same thing was going to happen to him. There was no evidence to back up these phone calls. Sadly, to this day, Kathy's death still remains unsolved. Police still consider Steve to be a person of interest. Although he has never been charged with her murder, Kathy's family won a wrongful death lawsuit against him. There's currently a cash reward for any information leading up to the arrest in Kathy's murder. And that brings us to the end of this case today. What do you guys think? How do you guys think that she ended up in her car? I think that it's extremely odd that they found no DNA in her car. And I just don't feel like there's enough for me to make a solid decision. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me in this video today. If you have any suggestions for any cases you would like me to cover, then just go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this content and you're not already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We'll see you guys in my next one.